welcome back to Doz's Television Workshop. It's a bit of a short form Wednesday thing going on. Um, and we're going to talk a bit about um, Mesh Tastic and a new Laura thing I've bought. Now you've already seen these uh, Helltech modules that you can uh, procure from many sources. This is a Helltech V3, very common, a little bit power hungry, but there it is. Um, I'm not going to talk about that one because there are many videos out there about it. But there you go, Laura 32, this one's on uh, 863, uh, 928 megahertz, we use 868 in the UK. Uh, Laura, obviously, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth low energy, it's got no LED display and some LiPo management. But uh, we're not going to talk about that, we are going to talk about this, which I received a couple of days ago. This is the Heltec HTIT Tracker. No sniggering at the back. Uh, we've got the same, same band, LoRa, Wi-Fi, BLE, but this time we've got GNSS. So uh, that's a global navigation satellite system. We've got the same TFT and is it the same TFT? No, it's not. It's slightly bigger. Hmm. This, the Heltec V3 is 128 by 64 and the tracker has got an 80 by 160 on it. Okay, and that's an OL, OLED, and this one's a TFT. Mmm, okay, LiPo management, jolly good. So, what do you get in the box? Um, oh, yeah, it is a different display. There it is. Um, it's got a nice uh, you know, sort of sticker over the front of the display. There's a bit of an discussion. They could have got it on straight, couldn't they? Never mind. Um, I'll never be looking at it anyway. In the box, we've also got the usual pin headers, uh, a lead for your LiPo, a lead for your antenna, um, which has got that awful little connector on the one end that connects to the board, and an SMA on the other, and an antenna that could be 868-ish, possibly. Who knows? They're not very good. They've got nothing in the way of gain. So, uh, But it will get us going. Right. Um, first thing we want to do is I want to put this on the mesh network. Currently there's a tracker in my car, uh, but it needs me running the phone app to be able to send its position, um, which is not really the job. Um, what I want it to do is send its position auto automatically. Um, you can, of course, get a T-beam. It's quite a chunky unit. We've used those in the past here on this channel. Um, and the radio isn't quite as good on the T-beam as on the Heltec unit. So, um, yeah, two sockets on the rear, be aware. Um, that one is the GNSS, we're upside down here. Let's have a little zoom in. So you can read, if I can get it in focus, come on, you know you want to, that'll do. There we go. So we've got uh, Heltec SX 1262 radio there and a UC6580 here. Uh, don't know what that does, that'll be the GNSS I suspect. And you can see our LoRa antenna is this socket here, and this is for an external GNSS antenna. But there's a built-in patch on this side, so uh, we're gonna be using that. Right, I'm just gonna connect up the LoRa antenna to the LoRa port, just because um, you can allegedly do some damage to the chip, the radio chip, if it tries to transmit um, into an open circuit. So uh, let's not have those problems. I hate these little sockets with a vengeance. That's it. We're attached. And uh, of course, we need to flash the firmware. So um, let's move over to the computer and we'll have a look at that. OK, I've got my uh, Heltec connected via USB to my computer. This flashing on the screen, I've just noticed as well, this, this screen is colour, hence TFT, I presume. But uh, this flashing here on the screen, uh, that is not a camera artefact. That's exactly what it looks like. So um, there you go. Uh, we need to go to a flasher.meshtastic dot org we need this drop down that says select target device now 
the HTIT is actually the Helltech wireless tracker. Two versions. And on my version, it says here, just by the little springy Bluetooth antenna there, uh, tracker version 1.1. It's in very small writing, just above the display. So click on Helltech version 1. Select firmware version. We'll have the nicest, latest and greatest stable one, shall we? That one there. And then click flash. Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> uh, choose board rate. Um, every time I've gone to do it quicker than this, it fails. I wouldn't say I've got a low quality connection, but well, maybe I have. Um, we will have a full erase and install. Click that, then it will come up to where your um, unit is connected. So we've got that. Now, if you're doing this in Windows, it'll look different. This is a Mac. Uh, and if you need to do it via a, a Linux machine, I believe you need to add um, the Chrome user into uh, the dial-out group. But uh, there are instructions on how to do that. Click OK, and off it goes. It's writing fairly quickly, so uh, yeah, it's all good. And there it is, it's done. So um, we can close that off now. And as you can see, our unit is booting up into Meshtastic. And uh, now we just need to configure it in the ordinary manner using our telephone or uh, another app. You can do it uh, via a web interface if you connect to the web, but you need a phone to do that. Yep, you're gonna need to configure it by the phone. But um, yeah, there you go. Easy as pie. Okay, I've got the thing paired up to Bluetooth. That involves you basically pushing the plus button on your app. It'll come up with a list of what's available. Um, these nodes are not on at the moment, so that's good. Um, and yeah, this just uh, gives you a code on its little TFT screen, which you can't see at the moment. There you go. Gives you a little six digit code, which you punch into the app and it connects the two together. Let me just tilt that so we've got half a chance of seeing it, maybe. There we go. Um, at the moment, we've got region unset. We want EU868. It's come up rebooting. We'll let it do its thing. Disconnected from the app because clearly it's rebooting. And we can connect again. <clears throat> and there we go. Just reading the configuration. And we need to change the name. So I actually want this to be DOS M for mobile. DOS M. You can call it what you like. There is no particular protocol. Dos M, there we go. Click on the three dots. Go to radio configuration. I want to set myself up. Ah, need to change the long name in there. Dos M. Short name can be the same. <coughs> Heltec Wireless Tracker. I have an amateur radio license. We will hit the send button. Delivery confirmed. It does often when you set these things, it does do this rebooting procedure again. There we go, rebooting. It's already telling me it's picking up Cheltenham East, um, which if you've watched this channel before is the node that I built that's outside on the mast. So that's all good stuff. And that's basically it configured for me. Um, I go back there. Provide phone location to the mesh. Well, I'm not going to do that. So let's just see if it nodes where it nodes <laughs> knows where it is. It's not coming up with the location. Um, I'm just going to log on 
to my node on the roof and see if it's got its location. I won't have anyway. Things only been on for a few minutes and I suspect it'll take about a quarter of an hour in good sky with it, that side of the patch antenna. It's going to take a good few seconds to um, um, lock on to GPS. Uh, let's just go into radio configuration and just check position. Smart position enabled, yeah, I want that. GPS mode enabled. It's already been set for us. So hopefully that will now just work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it outside, put it in clear view of the sky with a battery bank on there for now, and uh, see if it gets a GPS lock. Right. There you have it, just a couple of minutes in. And Doz M is showing up on my node list and it's got a lock. So uh, there you go. That uh, didn't take long to take a lock at all. Uh, there were sort of rumours that for the first boot it would take sort of 15 minutes. But uh, like I say, that's been two or three minutes now. Very good. There you have it. Just a quick look at the Helltech HTIT tracker. Um, there you go. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment, do all that rubbish. And I'll see you on the weekend here on Doz's Television Workshop. Cheers now. Bye.